been about a year, almost a year. I started last summer on June. And the reason I wanted to do it was because it just seemed like something I could do. I felt that knowing English and Spanish and living on the border, it almost felt like something that that I should do. And I felt like I have some knowledge I can give to others and it felt wrong to not share it or help. So it just seemed like something that I could be good at. So I think it's good to give some of yourself without getting without getting anything back. I think most of what people do always has something in return. You know, you work, you get money, you go to school to get good grades. To get people to like you. Well, almost everything we do, we do with the expect, uh, expectation of something in return. And I think volunteering is one of those few things that you can do without expecting anything in return other than you know, feeling good about what you've done. I think you just need, uh, I would say, the dedication to just set aside some time. We just know, okay, on Mondays for me, it's Mondays and Thursdays. Class after work, so just just knowing that it's going to be that way for a year at least, and um, yeah, having the the desire to help people. And I don't think you even need to know Spanish really to to teach, but it, I think it, it helps. Um, really, just wanting to help. I feel like it's given me more confidence. You know, when when I'm here, I feel confident. When I'm not thinking about anything else. I'm just focusing on the students and helping them. And uh, yeah, it feels good. It just feels good to hear them speak English. And you know, I like I like seeing them make that struggle. I, I like it when they abandon that fear and they just go for it, even if they don't get it 100% right. Um, and it's going to be some experience in teaching. I think one of the bigger challenges is getting new students. Because sometimes we have like a certain rhythm going, and we've covered certain things, but then we'll get new students, and sometimes they're at different levels, so you have to focus on different things. You have to teach different ways in the same class. Uh, obviously, yeah, that wasn't the same level. So, uh, so one, you don't want to lose those that are not as experienced. You don't want to go too fast, but at the same time, you don't want to bore the ones that are more advanced, so it's trying to find that balance, that's probably the biggest challenge. Her team is Barrera here, she's one of the old, old older students, she's 80 years old, and she shows up almost every day, she's hardly ever absent. She does yoga, she comes to English, she's, she's very active, she's very lively, so seeing that is uh, it's nice, it's nice seeing that kind of energy. I think they've, they've been interviewed before, and I've kind of overheard them say good things about me, so that, that feels good as well. Uh, hearing them compliment me, you know, and, and seeing them come back every week. You know, they're coming back, they must like something about the class. If they stop coming, then they might be worried and say, well, maybe they're not enjoying it, they're not learning, but so I see them coming back. Uh, that's what's rewarding for me. I think this is a good project. This is how I find out about this. I did the same project. I thought, yeah, I can do this. 